Let's pray. God, you are so amazing. Thank you for everything. If we took the time to just single out everything that you've ever done for us, God, we'd never make it of our life. Thank you. Everything that you've done. There were so many things that could have went wrong. So many things that did. So many things and areas and ways that could have been so much worse. Thank you for keeping us right where we're at today. You are awesome, and there's nobody that can compare to you. And because of that, there's nobody that we want to be closer to tonight. Our simple prayer is that you would draw us closer to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you want that to happen in your life tonight, would you simply say, Amen. Amen. Is it okay if I talk to you guys for a couple minutes? Is it okay? Very cool. I'd love to do that. And uh, tonight I just want to talk about something that's a little different that I normally don't talk about. And uh, I'd like to talk to Christians here tonight and to all the people that are part of the body of Christ. I'd like to talk to you about what I believe, some things that we've left out of our Christian faith. And when we desire to get closer to God and we desire to draw closer to Him and be closer to Him and be a better Christian and be a better person and follow Him and be obedient to Him. I think there's something that's very important that we've left out and I know, especially in my life, for myself, when I can speak for myself, I know I have definitely left it out many times in my life. And I'd like to share with you something that I read earlier today in the book of Isaiah, chapter 58. I don't read out of the Bible very much from the stage, but I'd like to do that tonight if that's okay. If that, would that offend anybody tonight? In the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, God is speaking. And he starts off and he says some things like, you know, he's telling Isaiah, I want you to tell these people, my people, I want you to tell them about their sins. So he starts off pretty harsh. He says, I want you to tell them they've got some problems. They've got sins. He says, because see, even though they seek me daily, and they honestly, they delight to know my ways. I'm like, okay, sounds pretty good. Sounds like me seeks him daily, honestly wants to do his ways, honestly wants to be, you know, obedient to God. And they're a nation that wants to be righteous, and they don't forsake the judgment of God, and they ask me for righteous judgments, and I give it to them. And they ask me questions, like, this is God talking, he says, they ask me questions, why have we fasted, and why have you not seen it, why have we humbled ourselves, and you act like you don't know about it. And behold, he says, because in the day of your fasting... You seek your own pleasure. And you oppress all your workers. You, you fast and quarrel and fight with your brothers and sisters. And you hit them with a wicked fist. You, fasting like this on, on your day will not make your voice be heard in heaven. If this, and, he, and he says, if you want to draw closer to me, if you want to be near me, if you really want to fast, you know, fasting is like the ultimate super spiritual thing, right? He says, if you want to really do a fast that I would like, Here's the fast that I would have for you to do. If you want to really draw close to me, if you really want to show some spiritual sign of what it means to be spiritual, God says, this is what I would like for you to do. This is the fast that I would choose for you, He says. In Isaiah 58, verse 5, He says, I choose a fast like for a, a person to humble himself. I choose a fast uh, for you to bow down your head like a reed, spread, you know, sackcloth over your head. He said, I, I choose a fast where you would break the bonds of wickedness. You would undo the, the straps of the yoke and let the oppressed people go free. And then he says stuff like this. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry? Is that not what it's really all about? And bring the homeless and the poor into your house to give clothes to the naked to cover them? Not to hide yourself? He says, it's at that point that your light will break forth like the dawn, and that your healing shall spring up speedily, or speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you, and the glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. And then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and He will say, Here I am. I read that today, and I was thinking, how many times do we come to God and say, Heal me? How many times do we come to God and say, Touch me? How many times do we come to God and we say, Use me? 
How many times do we say, I need this, God. I need you to use me today. I need you to speak through me today. I need you to draw me closer to you today. I need to be where I can hear you, God. I need your spirit in my life. All these things. And he says, you know what I'd rather you do? I'd rather you just give your bread to a hungry person. I'd rather you just take a poor person and just feed them. Give somebody who doesn't have clothes. Just give it to them. He said, like... He says, you know what happened when you do something like that? When you pray, I'll hear you. When you ask me for something, I'll give it to you. You know why? Because that's the way God is. And when we start to act like Him, and we do things according to His will, He starts to give us stuff according to His will. When we do things and we ask for things out of our own selfish desires and out of our own pleasures... And that's when he says, you know what? You're just asking for yourself. And see, I know that today this might be a little weird, you know, and I'm not like talking and, and this may be going over somebody's head. I'm sorry because I don't, I don't want to, you know, talk like a freak and go over anybody's head tonight because I really feel like God wanted me to share this to you because as Christians, as our desire to draw closer to Him, I know in myself and in our lives, I feel like we leave out a lot of times the very fact that God says, number one, I want you to love me with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And number two, I want you to love your neighbor as you love yourself. We got this whole idea of loving God and drawing closer to God and God make me awesome and make me blameless and make me right. But you know, it's hard to be blameless and it's hard to be right when we forget to love the people that are around us. So today, all I really wanted to do was just encourage you. Man, if you're not giving, I don't know where you stand theo theologically on tithing, but if you're not tithing to your church, man, think about it. Do it. If you don't have a church to give to, give 10% of what you make to the cup. If you have, a, if you have clothes in your house that just been sitting around you haven't worn for a year, go home tonight. Put them in a bag. Go take them to a homeless shelter. If you got some extra money, you know somebody that you know lives you know close to you nearby, why don't you go to the grocery store and Buy some fruit, buy some canned stuff, just sit it on their back door, walk off, and don't even just ring the doorbell and leave. Why don't we just, you know, do some things, give of ourselves, take our eyes off of ourselves for just a moment, and help somebody else. I believe it's God's desire for us to give of ourselves as Christians, to be givers, to, you know, I know it sounds cheesy, but, you know, to live to give. And I, I believe that. Can we pray together? Let's pray. Father, I pray you touch us tonight. And tonight you change our hearts to know what it means that when you came to this earth, you didn't come with your own agenda, but you came to lay your life down to save us. You came because of your love for everyone but yourself. Teach us what it means to love like that. It's hard for me, Lord. I'm very selfish and I think about myself way too much. Help me, God, to love others like you love them. To prefer others over myself. To be a giving person. Change us tonight as the body of Christ to be, to be givers. Lord, that you will use us. May, maybe we'll go home and we'll find some things, you know, that are in our house that just, we don't really need anymore, but somebody else does. Show us what those things are, God. Show us who maybe we just need to give a hug to tonight or smile to or pray for just spend some time with us. Show us a relative that, you know, that we've neglected, a family member that we've neglected, that really they want nothing more than just to spend some time with us. And we've been way too busy for that. Show us who that person is, God. and Help us, Lord, to be more like you in that area. With nobody looking around with everybody's eyes closed, I just want to ask you real quick. Man, if you don't know who Jesus is or if you feel like you got sins in your life... Right now, maybe the Holy Spirit's convicting you for whatever reason. And you just want to make things right with God. I just want to ask you real quick. If that's you, just lift up your hand right your hand. Say, yeah, man, that's totally me. God bless you, man. Anybody else? Just say, I want to make things right with God tonight. Anybody else? Just say, yeah, it's totally me. How many other people just say, you know, I've never asked Jesus into my life. But this is something I really would like to do. And I've been thinking about it. And I want to give my life to Jesus tonight. If there's anybody like that, would you just lift up your hand as well? Amen. God bless you guys. Do me a favor. Just grab the hand of the person next to you. Let's pray together if you want to. All we're going to do is just simply ask Him into our life. Ask Him to forgive us of our sins. If that's a prayer that you want to pray, 
Just pray it out loud with me right now like this. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank You so much for Your Son, Jesus Christ. I believe that He came to this earth, that He died on the cross, and that He rose again. I want Jesus to be the Lord of my life and my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. Wash me in the blood of Jesus. Take my life. Use it for You. Teach me what it means to love other people. Not to judge them. To love them no matter what. Thank You for saving me. In Jesus' name. Amen. Do me a huge favor. Can everybody just lift up your hands? We're just going to take a few minutes and worship God. This song says, I'll live and die for You. Let's just lift up our hands and begin to worship Him in here tonight.